Lost in all the other big headlines over the past couple of weeks, James in New Orleans noticed this. What is your verdict on college football games happening on Fridays now, yay or nay? So what he's talking about is The Athletic had a story a couple days ago now. Time's running together for me. It was this week at some point. And they said that Fox Sports will have a package of college football games on Friday nights. I say that like it's plural. They'll have one game per Friday night. And it'll be a Big Ten, Big 12, Mountain West. It'll be like a combination of those teams. So no SEC, no ACC. But they're going to have, in their mind, the best game on Friday. And then they'll have big noon kickoff on Saturday. They lost WWE. So uh, what was it, Jesse? SmackDown was on Fox, right? On Friday nights? So back in my day, it was on Thursday, but I digress. So they lost the WWE contract. And as soon as that happened, there was talk within the industry that they were going to put a college football package on Friday night to fill that space. So they've done that. Okay. So uh, some people had outrage over this. Some others just looked at it and said, oh, that was kind of me. In fact, I looked at it and said, all right, because I'm not quite sure where the outrage is coming from because college football has been happening on Friday nights for a long time. Am I wrong on this? College football games have been happening on Thursday. Uh, Much bigger games used to happen on Thursday than they do now. But Friday night games have been happening for quite a while. Like, I I know this because once upon a time down in Columbus, I was working local news. I'd have to be out shooting high school football games, and I'd be checking my phone on Friday night games that are being played. And that is your pushback on this, by the way. A lot of you who have a problem with this, you're saying Friday night should be for high school football. And I don't disagree with you. I mean, you're making a good point, and I'm... fully support high school football. But I think a lot of times it's the report that leads to the outrage more so than the thing itself. For example, if you were to open your phone right now and it said, breaking news, terrible drivers plan nationwide clogging of passing lanes on interstates starting tomorrow, you'd be outraged. But the thing about it is it happens every day in America. Take it from someone who drives a lot. The the left lane people is not just like any other lane. It's not you get on the on-ramp and then flip a coin and whatever it lands on, I'll just pick a lane. They're all the same. They're not all the same. Get over. Get. I know I sound 75 right now, but what I'm saying is right. I cannot trust that all of you guys have been taught to drive properly, especially in my college crowd. So take it from Uncle JP. That left lane is for passing or faster traffic. And those right lanes are for everyone else. And you can, you can be either, but, but just make a choice. Don't hang out in that left lane. Well, anyway, if there was a report that came out that broke the news that people were planning on doing that, you'd, you'd take to Twitter and you'd call your buddies and you'd say, did you hear what they're planning on doing in the left lane tomorrow? Well, instead, you're just going to wake up tomorrow and get out on the road and you're going to see it. And, you know, you'll be aggravated by it, but you won't be outraged. I think if this report would not have surfaced and... Iowa just played Purdue on a Friday night, you wouldn't really care all that much. But because you saw a report about it, they're coming for for high school football. They're coming to take high school football from us. In my perfect world, guys, Friday would be exclusive for high school. Saturday would be exclusive for college, and Sunday would be exclusive for the NFL. But we don't live in a perfect world. We live in a world where Stanford can see the Pacific Ocean yet also play in the ACC. That's the world we live in right now. So it was tough for me to be overly outraged by it. If you are, I get it. I'm not happy about it per se, but I um, just, it it got to like a three maybe on my one to 10 rage scale. And that rage scale has been peaking lately. So trust me, it works. It's calibrated. 